Welcome to Code with Kurt. In this video, I'm going to show you how to populate the last row and the last column, the last open row and the last open column using Google Apps Script. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to this channel. Let's get started with this video. So I'm going to go to Tools. I'm going to go to Script Editor. First thing we're going to do is we're going to populate the last row. So I'm going to title my project first. Last row and column. Next I'm going to title my function. We'll call this last row. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is declare our sheet. So there we have our sheet one declared using the sheet by name. Next we're going to get the last populated row of the sheet. So there we have the get last row function that we're going to use and it's going to give us the last populate row but what we're going to do is we want to populate the next open row. So we're going to take this to plus one. So that right now this would return five but we want it we're going to use six as our open row. So we're just going to add one to that. Next, we're going to populate the next row with my name. So there we're setting the next row with column A with my name. So let's go ahead and save that and run that. Here we're going to go through an authorization, click the account, advanced, down below, we're going to allow it to edit, create, and delete. And allow. Now it's going to go ahead and run. We're going to check our sheet. And now I'll populate it in A6. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Next, we're going to do the next column over. Start off by starting a new function here. Last column. And I'm going to copy down my sheet declaration here. So we got sheet one. I'm going to grab the last row. But this time we're actually just wanting the row, last row that's populated. We don't want the next row. So I'm going to take that plus one off. Next I'm going to start my row for loop. Start with row one. So here we're going through each row and next we're going to go go through each column and go over and we're going to use a while loop for this. So first I'm going to declare the first column that we're going to start with. So we're going to do column one. So here's what we're doing is we're starting with the first column which would be A. We're checking and we're going through our first row here. So we got row A. See if that's blank. If it's false we're going to go to the next column. And if the next column is false we're going to go to the next column until we find it as true. And then once it's true it's going to kick out of this while loop. Once it kicks out we're going to go ahead and populate the column on that row. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copy down this with my name here. I'm going to copy it down here and then we're going to change stuff around. I'm going to go instead of last row we're going to go I which is what our for loop is keeping track of and then the next thing I'm going to change this one to column. So here it's going to populate my name for each row at the last available. The next open column so let's go ahead and save that. And we'll go ahead and run it. So there it's populated. B1, B2, E3, B4, and B5. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.